The genesis of the BAT project really came out of a desire to have a simulator trainer mission rehearsal tool that was always in lockstep with the progression of the aircraft. The Army's able to make very rapid changes to keep up with technology, to keep up with the, the warfighter. We are always trying to maintain dominance on the battlefield, both technologically and uh, capability to, to fight and win America's wars. Mm -hmm. So the aircraft is perfect for that. It moves very rapidly. The bat literally has a representative of a Black Hawk cockpit in the simulator itself. Along with the collimated display and the cockpit itself, that realistic representation is above any other simulator of any other uh, aircraft in the Army inventory right now. The biggest thing that it helps is that you're able to like practice. Um, so there's so much stuff with aviation where you just need to like go out and do it. And so the bat is beneficial for that because you're able to, to do those parts and pieces and you're able to do your emergency procedures and you're able to do, um, you know, make radio calls and you're able to kind of mess up in a simulator without having, you know, okay, we're wasting flight hours. You're able to like practice the things that you need to practice in the air without the consequences of necessarily flying a helicopter. And so one of the great things about the, the bat is it really has, you can see, you know, what you would see if you're looking in the aircraft. Um, and it's pretty spot on with regards to buildings and you know, runway and terrain and that kind of stuff. So it's been um, pretty good. And you're able to turn your head a lot uh, like you would in the aircraft to make sure that you're, you're seeing all sorts of different things. Pilots want something that's realistic that doesn't take them out of the simulation or out of the, uh, the flight envelope whenever they're flying in the, in the aircraft. So they, want a, they don't want lights coming in, they don't want the screens, they don't want lines in the screen, they don't want to look at one side and the co-pilot seeing something completely different. And that's something that the BAT does uh, have with our collimated screen. One pilot can see something to the left, the other pilot sees the same thing, same size. It's not distorted. It's a pretty straightforward mission. The bat has to do what the Black Hawk does. So whatever the Black Hawk's doing is what we're going to do. Key to the bat is that it goes where the Army goes. It is designed to operate in all the extremes, the weather extremes, and the environmental extremes that the Army may find itself. Whether it's a very hot environment in Afghanistan or a very cold environment in Alaska, it has a wide window where it can operate in. We don't make a pencil. It's kind of hard to make to get passionate about making a pencil and see a pencil in somebody's hands. Mm -hmm. We make something, we build something that goes in the hands of our war fighters mm -hmm. who are who fight and win our America's war. Mm -hmm. To see that uh, happen in it for to work and to be part of America's defense, I, I can't think of anything that I would rather be doing with my life than doing this.